Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another Feather Declutter series for you. So I've got my smaller palettes here, so duos, trios, quads, and then any other sort of little palettes of five, six, things like that. So let's get straight into it. In front here I've just got my duos. This is one from Clinique, which has just got these two shades here. I absolutely adore these, so I'm definitely keeping it. I have these two here from Essence. Um, I know I really love this one, but I'm just going to swatch this one and see if I do still like that as much. I mean, look at those shades. They're, they're stunning. Yes, I'm definitely picking up. Then I've got one here from Hard Candy. Um, I got this in TK Maxx. It's in the shade Secret Rendezvous. Okay, so they swatch absolutely beautiful also, so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have this one from Avon in Warm Cashmere. Again, these are gorgeous shades, so I'm going to keep this one. So not so well with my duos, but I do only have five, so it's not so bad. I've then got two trios. I have this one from MUA, so I'm just going to swatch this. Okay, so they swatch really beautifully, but I do have so many colours like this, so I'm going to pass this one along. So here's another eyeshadow here. This is from Hard Candy. This is a trio in I Quit. It has a little pencil on the top there, which I've never used and I'm probably not going to. Um, but they're just... Really neutral, lovely shades. Um, I think I'm going to keep this because I haven't been able to use it very much. So I definitely need to give it some love. And then this one I've got a load of quads. So I've got quite a few here from a set my friend got me for Christmas. I'm just going to take a quick look at the shades. So we've got some blues and greys. Um, sort of a random mixture of colours. More random again. Some neutrals. Some more neutrals. Some purple, pink and a gold. And then some grey tone colours. Now I've not really had much chance to play with these that much and they are really nice so far so I'm going to keep all of these. And then I have this little quad from e.l.f. It is really pretty. It's in the shade Butternut. Um, yeah, Butternut. Um, but I just don't reach for it. It's really kind of tiny um, and I think someone else will get better use out of it so I'm going to pass that along. This is another quad that I have from e.l.f. This is in Tantalising Taupe. I know I really like this so I'm going to keep this one. Then have a quad here from Physician Formula. This is really nice and one of the few products I have from them, so I'm definitely keeping this. I then have this quad from Mac Studio. It's a brand I got in um, TK Maxx. It is really nice, but it's not something I reach for very often as I have these shades in pretty much almost every palette I have. So I'm going to pass this one along. I have this one from Illamasqua. It's the Compliment Palette. So that's what that one looks like. It is really pretty. I've not had much chance to play around with it. I've only really swatched it. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this. I then have three little palettes here from Too Faced. Oh, this one's upside down. It came in the Labelle Carousel set in 2014. Um, I think. So it's this one, which is really pretty. I love all of those shades. This is sort of a green one. It's not looks I often go for, but these shades are so stunning. Two face shadows are amazing. And then this is the neutral one. Again, absolutely stunning. Keeping all three of those. So I'm bringing forward this set. I have another one from the MAC Studio. Again, it's nice, um, but I just have these shades so many times over, so I'm going to pass that one along. I have this one here from I Heart Makeup. It also has a lipstick in it. These shades are absolutely stunning, but I have so many palettes. I think I need to pass this along to someone that will actually get used out of it. I then have this little palette from um, MAC, which is really pretty. These are lovely shades. I definitely need to try and use it a bit more because I haven't used it that much, but it's really nice. I got this palette recently from Primark. Um, to try it out and to be honest the shades really aren't that pigmented um, there's not any point in me really trying so I'm going to pass this along to someone else I have this palette that I made myself from Inglot at iMats so there's the shade so you can see them better absolutely love this and I love the packaging so definitely keeping this and then two more so this is the Naked Basics 2 palette Again, this is another one that I absolutely love. It's a perfect neutral palette and it's all matte, so it's really good to put with any sort of shimmery palettes. The last one I have here is the Selfie palette. Um, this is from I Heart Makeup as well. So that's 
these shades are really stunning they're really pigmented but i have so many palettes i think it's probably best to just pass this along to someone that will get better use out of it so that's it guys let's count up how many i've kept and how many i'm getting rid of so i'm keeping 23 and i'm passing on seven that's not great but i think i did quite well so that's it for this one guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe take care bye